I'll try to slow those hovercrafts down so you can climb aboard. If you target the engines, you should be able to disable them. Draining all the fun out of this. Bullseye! I'm afraid we'll have to continue these negotiations at a later date. Feel free to call my assistant. Alpha Squad to Cave. We have retrieved the third fragment. Acknowledged, Alpha Squad. Well done. My King, I am relieved to see you safe. But there is something you need to tell me. King Orin, please. I have unanswered questions. Black Manta said you were keeping things from me. You did not deny it. Perhaps you should discuss this with your parent. I am discussing it with you. 
It is about your father. My father? What would Calvin Durham have to do with Manta? <sighs> Calvin Durham is not your father. At least not biologically. I do not understand. Why would you withhold this secret from me? To keep you from seeking out your true father. And who is that? I deserve to know. Clearly others know the truth. You, my mother, even Manta. No, do not say it. Not Black Manta. I only sought to protect you, Calderon. You would protect me with a lie? None of this changes who you are, nor who raised you as his son. Then why keep it from me? I trusted you. I would have given my life for you. Calder! Hey, you okay? Status report. I've uploaded the corrupted files from Dr. Sandsmark's last message. Running it through repair algorithms now. I can recover it, but it'll take some time. Hello, team. I received the third fragment. What have you found out? I searched the Watchtower database for relevant matches. The statue, what is left of it, is thousands of years old. Carbon dating suggests second millennium BCE, by surface world reckoning. It is engraved with a combination of ancient Babylonian cuneiform and something else. It almost looks like a circuit board. This is an obscure drawing from a Babylonian temple scholar, second millennium. Notice the similar carvings. Certain xenology specialists have suggested this could be evidence of an archaic alien race. The statue depicts a primordial chaos creature named Tiamat, from the legend of Tiamat and Marduk. The story is one of the oldest recorded versions of what your scholars call the Chaos Conf myth. The Chaos what now? The Chaos Conf Myth, a story that represents the battle between chaos and order. <laughs> I hate the fuzzy sciences. In this version of the myth, Tiamat was set loose to destroy the world and put an end to the conflict. So the gods issued a summons for a hero, and Marduk, a young demigod from Mesopotamia, answered the call. Marduk was said to have petitioned the Four Winds to create lightning and rain to defeat Tiamat. After that, Marduk was inducted into the Babylonian Pantheon, and his name passed into legend as the God of Gods. Lightning and rain? I have that covered. Does that mean Marduk was some kind of ancient superhero? That is the theory. Solid work, Apple Girl. Yes! Repairs complete. Reconstructing Dr. Sandsmark's last transmission. I'm running out of time. They're packing up their equipment, but now that I've located the remaining fragments, I... I fear they have no further use for me. These people, they're they're dangerous, and, and they're planning something big. I did hear one of them mention Gotham City, so if anyone receives this message, it's a strange feeling, being part of the most important archaeological find in history, and not having my daughter here to share it with. What am I saying? The last thing I want is for Cassie to be in danger here with me, and if she... If anyone gets hurt because of what I've done, I don't know how I'll live with myself. Sounds like Gotham's our best bet. If they're trying to go unseen, they'll bring her through the docks. Then that's where we'll start.